The relatively weak employment report published on Thursday gave a boost to the U.S. stock market after a swooping 4.2 percent jump in inflation in April. The weekly jobless claims data significantly eased the panic. Investors have just calmed down when a new disappointing data was unveiled. The U.S. retail sales report was worse than the forecast. Retail sales are an important economic indicator because they reflect the pace of expansion of the U.S. economy. So, zero value signal a lack of growth in consumer demand, which is bearish primary for the U.S. stock market. The S&P 500 index declined to the level of 4,040 points yesterday. Today, the index recapped some of the losses. However, after the negative retail sales data, it's expected to drop slightly again. Probably today and on Monday, it will stay in the range of 4,100 and 4,550 points. The US dollar index is also gradually decreasing. Today, it's trading at 90.50 taking into account recently published reports and the lack of drivers for a sharp jump in inflation, the US dollar index is likely to stay in the range of 90.20 and 90.55 in the near future. The US currency may kick off Monday session with a dip. If so, we will see it on the charts. The Canadian dollar has also halted its rally. Today, the US dollar Canadian dollar pair is trading in the range of 1.2080 and 1.2220. Given the stabilization of oil price in the US market, the level of 1.2000 may become the pair's long term support. Besides, this level can be seen as a next target amid the current fundamental factors as well as the situation around the US dollar index and energy prices. The situation in the crypto market is rather uncertain as well. For the third day in a row, the price of Bitcoin has been barely exceeding $50,000. One of the main reasons is fundamental factors. On Wednesday, Tesla founder and CEO Elon Musk once again made a splash with his tweet. He announced that his company would no longer accept payments in Bitcoin. Musk expressed concerns over the rapidly increasing use of fossil fuels for Bitcoin mining. However, he added that Tesla would not sell the previously acquired tokens. Against this background, Bitcoin tumbled. Yesterday, BTC bounced off the resistance level of $48,000. Currently, it's moving in the sideways trend. Nevertheless, the main cryptocurrency is expected to rebound to about $52,000. Global market indexes have aged higher today. Relying on jobs data and inflation forecasts, investors no longer expect sharp fluctuations. However, data on retail sales threatens to dampen the mood of traders. Markets are particularly sensitive to any mention of a phasing out of incentives and a decline in consumer demand. Therefore, a downward rally is still to come. Do not forget that the market is still being supported by the massive relief package, which implies huge payments to millions of Americans. And that's all for today. We keep monitoring the financial market situation. Subscribe to our channel and see you on Monday. We wish you profitable deals and have a nice weekend.